So we are moving into vowel teams. Um, we have vowel teams are when we have two vowels together and they make one sound. So this week our vowel teams are A-I and A-Y. Um, they both make the sound A. And the cool thing about these vowel teams is that there's kind of a rule of when to use them. So first I'll go over A-I. So we say A-I and our keyword is train, so A. A-I, train, A. So this A-I says A at the beginning or the middle of a word. So if we see in this word, how we would tap this, so we go p u a n plain. Um, and this would be s a n t saint. So they get one tap. Um, so the, the students should know that A-I says A when we read it. And also, if they hear a word um, that has A in the beginning or the middle, we're going to write A-I. So like the word like aid, let's tap it, A-D, aid. So I heard that A at the beginning, and then I heard a D at the end. So my word would be aid. Um our next A sound is A-Y, and A-Y says A at the end of the word. So A-Y, our keyword is play A. So we'll do A-Y, play A. Um, so if I tapped out play, it'd be p u a play. Um, I also want to teach you real quick about how we would decode these words. So, for example, we if I was going to do this word, I noticed that there's two vowels. So, I'm going to underline my first two vowels, mark them with a V, draw my bridge, and then identify my consonants. There's three consonants. Let's do this over here so you can see it a little bit better. Um, vowel, vowel. And so, as I drew my bridge, I have three consonants underneath it. Now, we like to keep our beginning blends together. Um, that's kind of the first thing we start with. We'll talk about later what happens if there's not a blend or we'll just go. But now we want to keep our beginning blends together. So PL is a beginning blend. So we want to keep those together. So I'm going to look at this vowel. Behind this vowel is an S. So this is a closed syllable. So that I is going to go I. So dis. And then if I look at this vowel, oh, I see there's a Y over there. So this is a vowel team and it's going to go A. So p l a play, put it together, display. So that's how we would decode them. Um, as students are practicing where, if they're going to put a-i or a-y, and here's a blank, um, Sunday, well, there's the blanks at the ends, so they're going to put a-y. Um, here's the blanks in the middle, so it's going to qu a n t So that a sound is going to be a-i. So just helping them recognize where is that A sound. Is it in the beginning or the middle, or is it at the end of a word? Um, I hope that is helpful. Start of a lot of vowel teams coming your way.